Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Go to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 24th of July. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension of air. So ECM ensembles may run to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at Surface V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Yes, weekly. So back today. Um, and that gets us into the first half of August. Get time for that for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's videos. Thank you so much, everyone, for dear Matt. Hello, and happy birthday, belated happy birthday to my good friend Andy. It was City Andy's birthday on Friday, actually. 11th of July, I think that was. And um, I should have done a birthday show. Shout out, but Gab being Gab, <laughs> and my magic water adult brain. Um, well, I forgot, and then I forgot on Saturday, and outrageously, I forgot on Sunday as well. So, really, really sorry about that. And it is a busy time for me at the moment, but there's no excuse for that. And, um, and so, uh, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you had a lovely, lovely time. Got a big birthday next year, bro, haven't you? With, um, uh, with a big zero on the end. So uh, it'll, all, it'll be party time next year for Andy, I'm sure. But uh, happy birthday for this year anyway, my friend. And I uh, hope you had a lovely, lovely time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andy, for all the support over all of the years, my friend. Okay, let's start off with the latest weather map from Earth, NullSchool.net, showing that I've got low pressure. A uh, bit of a change out to west of the UK and Ireland today. They were changing the air mass. It's beginning very gradually to start freshening up. And uh, we are going to see, well, not going to be necessar necessarily that unsettled, but it's certainly going to be uh, a little more mixed compared to what we've been using the showers and potentially some longer spells of rain. Central in temperature is currently sitting at 18.8. That's nearly 3 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 13th of July. Oh, uh, very hot. First half of July going to be hovering around 90 deg 19 degrees, I think, when we get to about 15. So, uh, you know, a, a very warm to hot first half to July, definitely. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. So, next couple of weeks, we're going to London today. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off around to slightly below average in the next day or so, lifting back up again later on in the week, but that will be associated with low pressure. And then hovering quite close to the long term 30 year average. However, you'll notice that the GFS 6 cent operational run is really taking off here and becoming a significantly hot outlier. Uh, in the closing stages of that run, which is the end of July. Precipitation-wise, it's more unsettled, doesn't it, over the uh, next week or so, particularly when we get into the weekend, actually, um, with some rather significant precipitation spikes. After that, perhaps a drying trend, if anything, into the last week of the month. Temperature normally is for the next five days, the 19th of July, coming out a little bit above average. 6 to, 10, 6 to 10 day, also a little bit above average. 10 to 14 day, slightly below average in the north and the west, a little bit above average in the south and in the east. And precipitation anomalies for the next 7 days to 21st of July, wetter than average, particularly the central sway of the country. That's quite a big change on what we've had uh, through large portions of this summer. Driving average conditions are more towards the north of Scotland, I mean, probably a bit of northern blocking. Getting into the getting into the mix, the uh, eight to fourteen day precipitation anomaly is near normal. Okay, let's start going through the all important chart data. Then starting with the latest UK Met Euro run. So this is midnight on Thursday. A trough is out to the west. Otherwise, a bit of a ridge for the country. And as we go into the weekend, we find low pressure. I mean, a little bit more significant. So, Saturday, uh, for example, Saturday night into Sunday, it's midnight Sunday. So, there's a proper area of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. I'm not bringing wet weather for all parts of the coast. We're actually, actually developing quite a significant low sitting in the North Sea there by the 21st of July. So, turning a bit wet and windy with uh, that one. 
And they've got the icon again at weekend. And they've got icon again with a slight rich super coach on Thursday. That's replaced by low pressure as you move into weekend. This was quite a significant low, doesn't it? Down to the southwest approaches. Uh, that's uh, that was midnight Saturday, this midnight Sunday to Monday. Um, and again, you know, low pressure properly in the mix, properly involving showers and or longer spells. So I think we're all going to get a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of soaking actually at the weekend. Not much of a barbecue weekend. <laughs> um, a K of A looks like that. Again, quite unsettled. Starting off with a ridge uh, around Thursday. But uh, that's transient ridge, of course. And then low pressure taking over after about unsettled conditions lasting. To about day 10. And then the Azores High starts getting back into mix again into the last uh, week of July. That gets 26. And then we've got a GFS Midnight Run. So that one also brings low pressure in from off the Atlantic through the weekend. This is midnight Sunday. Probably heavy rain spreading across most parts of the country. Showers and or long spells of rain men through the rest of the weekend and lasting into uh, the beginning of the following week. By day 10, high pressure starts to reach up from the Azores. That starts to pull up some drier and also hotter air again into the final week of the month. High pressure rain builds strongly. GFS midnight run. As we go into the last days of July, we end the month on a hot and dry note. No, where are you going, Gab? <laughs> what are you doing? And we're up for a hot and dry note uh, with high pressure right over top of the coach. That's looking at the upper air temperatures with that. That's a 30th of July as so far as we get to GFS today. No, I mean, it's not extreme high. It's not, you know, um, 40 degrees or anything like that. But it is like persistent high pressure with day, temperature by, uh, most days probably into the low 30s again. Classic summer pattern, that one. Now we go on to the GFS 6 f by comparison. And again, we bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic, looking rather unsettled through the weekend with showers and or longer spells of rain, lasting into the early part of next week as well. Um, and even carrying on up to day 10, actually, with another trough pushing through there. So the third week of July is shaping up to be uh, very different from what, we've, from what we've had through much of this summer. Maybe just the first week of July, the exception, uh, with a lot of dry, with a lot of um, rather mixed weather, perhaps even unsettled. High pressure then coming back through the last week of the month, turning things drier and also uh, warmer as well. We actually bring up across 20 Celsius ice firm there by the 29th of July, so it's becoming really hot. Remember, on the ensemble graph, that is an outlier, uh, though. But uh, turning hot through the, oh, very hot through the uh, last uh, week of July, and then perhaps a cool down by month's end. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's do <laughs> What do you think about this and all of our videos and content? And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Webbies and get them to subscribe to you. And thanks so much everyone for doing that. About 70 subscribers will get us to 20.5k. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, GM. Again, builds up high pressure on Thursday. That brings a lot of dry, warm weather with it. Then we weaken the high into the weekend. Or we we, we, we we weaken the ridge into the weekend, so turning more unsettled over the weekend. And then uh, next week, well, we've got uh, high pressure south, low pressure north there with jam by day 10. And then the ECM rounds it all up, bringing low pressure through the uh, weekend. That will bring showers and or longer spells of rain, along with cooler temperatures as well. Next week, looking quite mixed and unsettled too, a further low pressure in the mix. And actually, no um, change high pressure in the last week of July with the ECM. The low pressure keep on coming, and we end up with quite a cool and showery note. No pressure in the North Sea, bringing down a north to northwesterly wind with some northern blocking uh, towards Greenland as well. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometcho.com. Now, you've got some wet weather spread across the country tonight and into tomorrow, actually. That'll give uh, some welcome rain for many of us. And then beyond that, well, a few days of drier weather around the middle part of the week. It turns and settled again into weekend. Actually quite wet uh, over weekend with some heavy bouts of rain coming in from the south and from the west too. Ending up with those showery northwesterly winds. This is dropped on the table within the ECM 
ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 24th of July, 51 out of 51 members of the East Amazons are all above with a trough to the east and a ridge out to the west. So a cooler and more showery northwesterly influence there at day 10. In two week time, these are the options that we've got getting us to the 29th of July. 17 members of the East uh, Ensembles with a ridge just out to the west, a uh, trough to the east. So again, northwest winds and a little bit showery. 14 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, flat and westerly. 11, we've got a deep low to our east and uh, high pressure out to the west. That brings down quite a coolish north northeasterly. North easterly. And then we've got dive with a ridge building up from the southwest, bringing drier conditions uh, with it. So a range of options at two weeks out, but uh, day 10 looks rather showery and a little bit on the cool side. CFSB2 finally, piece of 500 middle bar height anomalies break it down into week pairs. The first week pair takes us from 14 to 20th of, 20th of July. The next week with high pressure between Greenland and Norway. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. Okay, week two will be, so sorry everyone, week two will be the 21st, 27th of July with high pressure to our south and east. Lair pressure's out here. That should bring, should bring quite a lot of dry and warm weather into the south and, um, well, probably bring in the wind from the south Westerly, somebody type direction. Week three will be the 28th of July to 3rd of August. A ridge out to the west, a trough over Scandinavia. We bring down a northwesterly flow. So that's cooler and a little bit showery. And then lastly, week four will be the 4th to the 10th of July. High pressure is around Iceland. Otherwise, quite slack uh, gradients there. So, um, well, a, bit, a little bit difficult to decipher what's going on, but probably a bit showery with that one. Four weeks away, though, so not to worry. Okay, we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for dear Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, always get to subscribe too. And so, show everyone for doing that. Right, tomorrow, we've got 6 m UK weather forecast. We will have uh, the uh, European Outlook extended, and there'll be 10 to 14 day, obviously, as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.